Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to uh, create a function that takes a date as a parameter and returns a zodiac sign. Before we do that, go to Excel VBA SQL. There's an online class you could take here if you want to learn how to program in VBA. It'll teach you everything you need to know. And there's free videos here if you want to watch that. There's also a tutorial here that's really good for VBA. Okay, let's go to Excel and let's take a look at something. In our column A here, we have a list of dates. And the dates go from 1-1-1995 1 1, all the way down to 12-31-1995. So this is a year of dates. And I want to I return the zodiac sign in column B. So I'm talking about like Aries, Taurus, Cancer, th those things. So let's write a function where we can do that. And the name of my, let's start writing the function here in the Visual Basic Editor. And I'll do function get zodiac sign and this function is going to take a parameter the name of the parameter is going to be x date the data type of that parameter is going to be a date and this function is going to return a string so that's the general framework uh, I have the name of the function the parameter name the data type of that parameter here is date and the data type of what's being returned is a string so what we want to do now is declare a couple variables dim m as integer uh, D as integer and Y as integer. So these are three integer variables. Now what we can do is set M equal to the month of X date and set D equal to the day of X date and then set Y equal to uh, the year Oh, actually, no, set y equal to 2,000. So uh, once we have these three integer variables set, notice the first two, m and d, they just strip out the month and the day of this date that the user is going to pass in. And that's because the zodiac sign really only depends on the month and the day. It doesn't depend on the year that they pass in. So what we can do is just hard code a year. We pick any year. I pick 2000. You could pick any year you want. Hard code a year. And once you do that, it makes it real easy to return the zodiac sign. So what we'll do is do this. Uh, we'll declare another variable up here. Zodiac date as date. And once we did that, we can do this. Zodiac date is equal to date serial. And then... This date serial is a VBA function that Microsoft wrote for us. We didn't have to write it. And what we're going to do is pass in an, a, a year and then a month and then a day. It's going to build a date for us, and we're going to store it in the zodiac date variable. Once we do that, uh, now we have a date that we built. And what happened up to this point? All I did was take the month and the year that the user passed in and change or month, date, and year. And all I did was drop the year that they passed in and, and change the year to 2000. So why did I do that? It's, once again, it's because the zodiac sign only depends on the month and the day. And you'll see how it makes it easy to now determine the zodiac sign. So what we'll do is do something like this. If uh, zodiac date is greater than or equal to, and then you use these uh, pound symbols, when you want to compare dates, so we'll do 3, 21, 2000. I want to check if the zodiac sign is between 3, 21, 2000 and zodiac date is less than or equal to pound pound 4, 19, 2000. Then end if. So what I'm doing here is just checking if the uh, date that the user passed in, the month and the day, are in between March 21st and April 19th. And if it is, I'm going to set the zodiac sign uh, function, get zodiac sign, equal to Aries. So here's, here's basically all you need to know for this video. Uh, we're going to expand this if statement, but here's the basic framework. You build a date with the year 2000. And again, this could be any year. I just picked it. You need to pick out, 
pick a, a year as a constant, and then you build a date, zodiac date, and you compare it to the date ranges. And the, the reason you put 2000 is here is so that you can compare, you could compare it here real easily with 321 2000. And once I do this, we can we can check it if it works in Excel. So we'll do that. I'll just go up here and do equals get zodiac sign. I'll pass in a date. I'll hit enter. I don't get anything back. That's because one one is not an Aries. But if I drag it down like that, and now I'm just going to scroll down. And here you see now I have Aries at 321. And that's going to go until 419. So we just returned the Aries zodiac sign for, for this column A, right? Just the Aries, though. Now we need to do it for the rest of the zodiac signs. Well, that's really easy. We just have to change this if statement a little bit uh, by doing an, is, uh, an else if. So I'm just going to copy this bit of code here. And I'm going to say, else if the zodiac date is between 420 and 520. So now I'm just going to be changing dates here. That's going to be a, a Taurus. And then another else if. So we're going to do a bunch of else ifs, like 10 or 11 of these things, like this. Uh, the next one is going to be 521 to 620. So 521 to 620. The next, and that's going to be a Gemini. The next one is going to be 621 to 722. The next one, oh, that'll be a Cancer. And then a Leo is 723 to 7. Seven twenty three to eight twenty two, and there are a little, there are some nuances that we're going to get to in a, in a couple seconds here. A Virgo eight twenty three to nine twenty two, and then the next one is nine twenty three to ten twenty two. It's a Libra. Uh, oh, what did I do here? Seven twenty-three. Uh, Eight twenty-three to nine twenty-two, and then. Nine twenty-three to ten twenty-two. So let's see where we're at. Leo, Virgo, Libra. After Libra is Scorpio. Ten twenty-three to eleven twenty-two. Sagittarius, 1123, or 1121. All right, after Scorpio is a Sagittarius, 1122 to 1221. And then we're going to do something different. Okay, so now... We have two more to go, and we have uh, we have a cat or three more to go. So this next one, after twelve twenty-one, 
We do this else if but we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do 1222. If it's greater than or equal to 1222 or it's less than or equal to 119. So at the very end of the year or the beginning of the year, you do an or statement. And that's how you would catch this Capricorn. Most of these other ones are ands because the, the date just has to fall between. But because we have the same year here, you want to do an or statement. Because it's going to be either greater than, for a Capricorn, you're going to be greater than 1222 in, the, in 2000. Or you're going to be less than 119 in 2000. Now let's do two more of these. The next one is Aquarius, and the other one is Pisces. And for Aquarius, it's 120 to 218. And for the last one, 219 to 320. So all we did is do a big if statement using else ifs and checked if a date was in between these, these dates here. And for one of them, we did an or statement. So now if we run this, if we go back up to the top and I hit enter, I get Capricorn from 1 1 all the way down to 119. I get Aquarius from 120 to 218. I get Pisces from 219 to 3 320. Aries, we already checked that. Taurus, 420 to 6 520. Gemini. So we have it all Gemini, Cancer, Leo. Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and then Capricorn from 1222, and so on. So that's what I wanted to show in this video. The main takeaways are a couple things here. Uh, functions. What's returning to the worksheet is this get zodiac, get zodiac sign, whatever's in here. So when you have a function... You want to assign what's being returned to the name of the function. So here's what's being returned to the name of the function. But this is only being returned if the date, zodiac date, falls between these two dates that are hard-coded. Um, another thing to note is this date serial function. It takes three integers, and you could build a date. That's how you would build a date with three integers. And we hard-coded the year again because the zodiac sign only depends on the month and the date. Then you could just do this if statement. So that's it for this video. I will post the code on the website, Excel VBA SQL. If you have questions, uh, just contact us or, or tweet us or uh, go here to the contact page. But if you want to learn VBA, if any of this was sort of confusing to you, if you don't understand like what a variable is or what, uh, you know, what, these, what these signs are doing, uh, if you don't understand the if statements, if you don't understand you know, what this and is doing, then you want to sign up for the VBA class that we have here, and we'll teach you everything you need to know about that. All right, guys.